I'm Deb Porter. Here are my top five trends to track in the future of work. First, respect and positive working conditions will matter more than wages. Yesterday, I saw a hospital advertising for nursing staff in the Bronx for $133 an hour. It's no longer about pay, folks. Also, tokens like pizza in the break room or a pin are not going to be enough to keep people, especially in stressful jobs such as healthcare. Two, successful businesses will achieve employee retention through valuing employees and having fun with them, especially noticing and giving credit for invisible work. Squeeze In, a local restaurant, does us really well. Their Facebook post on 1217 says, Snow is fun. Shoveling is not, but we have some great associates who will shovel in a snowstorm, fix water leaks at the crack of dawn, troubleshoot internet issues, and help with all the various things that come with restaurant life. They notice invisible work. Three, artificial intelligence will go far, far beyond chatbots and will be implemented to deal with tasks people right now are only dreaming, especially in industries that are struggling like healthcare, education, and hospitality. Four, before the pandemic began, flexible work was sought primarily by stay-at-home parents, some caregivers, and those with long commutes. Now that flexible work is known to be successful, businesses will continue to offload large buildings to reduce costs, and work from home will no longer be a COVID trend, but a lasting shift. Five, authenticity and belonging will be paramount to our work. Showing up and being real will be the glue that holds the workplace together. Consider Baltimore Bicycle Works. They are organized as a cooperative. Their website says, every person you interact with at our shop is either an equal owner of the business or someone working towards becoming an owner. This translates to exceptional customer service and a deep commitment from all of our staff members to making sure you receive quality service and advice that keeps you coming back. Now, I don't live anywhere near Baltimore, but I know about them.